What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm up again to go hunting. And I'm excited. Tomorrow is the opening day of rifle deer season in Pennsylvania. And I'm ready to experience it. I just got up like 10 seconds ago. It's currently 9.05. Temperature is 27. I think we had a um, a cold front come in and cold everything up. It is snowing now, and I was out at a spotlight and I shone in some fields, and there weren't any deer. So I'm hoping the deer aren't moving tonight, and we'll wait till tomorrow morning. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Tomorrow, the Orange Army goes out and declares war on all the deer in Pennsylvania. Hopefully I don't die. I'm probably gonna freeze at some point. So I'm planning on staying out all day. I'm also staying up all week, staying up all week to deer hunt all week. Today's currently Saturday the 26th. No, Friday the 26th. I'm staying till it's Saturday the 4th or something. Whenever next Saturday is, I'm staying for a week. I'm gonna hunt pretty much every day except for tomorrow. Or no, tomorrow's the day we're hunting. Except for Sunday. I don't know if I'm hunting Sunday or not. I'm gonna sit up at the uh, place where I've been sitting a lot, where I saw the big, nice big buck that was running away from me. I'm gonna sit up there. And <clears throat> depending on how it goes, I don't know how many videos I can squeeze out of this week. It's gonna be one or two or three. It'll probably be more than one. But it all depends on how how everything goes. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow morning when I'm ready to go out. We're out here completely dressed up in orange. It's the liquor shoot light, like seven minutes ago. I just heard my first gunshot. I actually heard two of them. So it's on. I pretty much got up here and put, up, put all my clothes on already. I still have one fairly thick jacket that I'm going to put on for you. These gloves I got, they're like mittens. You can take the fingers off, they're really nice. You don't want yours to come through here till about 7 or 7.30. So I'm just hoping that someone shoots them up there, pushes all the deer down, and it's not bent in. Every time I hear a gunshot, I'll be like, that better not be my buck. So at the moment, pretty much if I can shoot it, I will. If I can shoot over there and behind me, if I can't shoot down there in front of me because of the road. If I can't shoot like over there, then I'll get all this. Y'all hear that? Just had a gunshot. Right across the valley. So I'm gonna stop talking. Sit for all. Probably about all day. Unless I get too cold and then I'm going. So yeah, stay tuned. I just have three does. Go on my left side over here. Go. Look in the distance. Still be up there. I'm not sure. But there's gunshots going off everywhere. I had some really loud ones right over there. And right over there. I saw woods there. State game lands. I heard a couple. I heard a couple coming from in there. Anyway, I better shut up.
It's crazy. I'm shaking. I definitely believe that I smoked her. I don't know if I get the footage. I saw her running down with her leg like hit out, so I might have hit her like a little bit. She was courting to towards me a lot. But she looked up at me and I had to take that shot. I just looked over and I saw him over there. I was like, sick. I saw the, the smaller one and the smaller one came through. I was, and I looked back over and I saw the bigger one and I was like, I'll wait for the bigger one to come over. And they were quartering towards me a lot. I come on over through there. Over through there. They quartering towards me a lot. And I was like, I don't really want to ruin these guys. Then came down here. It was in the right spot in front of me where I could shoot it. Because it wasn't like the skyline with the road over there. It was um, like up here. So like, even if I would have missed it, it would just went into the ground. So I'm going to look back over the footage and see what I can see. Probably give it five minutes. Give it a little bit. I saw her sort of slowing down over there as she was running, so I think she probably fell. I was tracking her, or I am tracking her. The blood trail was scarce, but I found some blood in this tree. I can see her trail pretty good because she kicked up some leaves. So I'm just gonna go find her. Alright, I found her. She did end up coming a pretty good ways down this hill. And, but she did drop. She had pretty good blood. Looks like I hit her in her shoulder, sort of. But she was quartering, she was quartering towards me. So I probably went back into her lung. Did hit a little high, uh, a little high in front. <sighs> so I'm gonna get her, gut it up. Get her off the mountain. Probably do some butchering and stuff. Show you all that. I'll probably go out this afternoon too. Or I'll definitely go out. I need to wash my gloves and stuff, but yeah. First day. Rifle season, first year. Alright. I'm gonna gut her now. And if you can't hear what I'm saying, it's because I'm too far away. Looks like my camera fell over somewhere during the gutting process. But I'm done gutting it. And I'm gonna drag it down to the lane, which is down over the hill there. And then I'm gonna hang it up in the shop. And my clothes need washed, so I'll probably start like processing it. Like skin it and stuff while my clothes are washing. And then I'll go back out later. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. I don't know how I'm gonna get all my stuff in. But hey, we're cool, we're chilling now. Got one on the board. Day one of eight, eight days of hunting. Day one, and I have five, no, six tags to fill. So I'm gonna fill, fill it out. Get her in, start processing it. Also, it turns out that I hit lung, heart, and stomach. So I got all the good spots, except for stomach. Stomach kind of sucks. But I like blew off the side of his lung. One side of his lung is destroyed, or her lung, and tore a hole through the heart. So it was clean. I'm sure, the exit wound's way back. Okay, so we brought it in. It's right there. I'm gonna skin it. So I take the tractor, pull it out, skin it, and then hang it today. Probably process it some other time. Maybe tomorrow, Sunday. Maybe this evening. 
That's the current plan. I also left my tripod up in the woods. I need to go get it. Yeah. I have my stuff in the wash and I need to go back out then. Right, so I got it hung up. Toby got it hung up. I'm going to start skinning it. The plan is to skin it out today and quarter it. And then stick it in a nice dress or just hang it. See what we get done pretty much. Yeah. I also want to tape it and start like practice mounting with bills and stuff. Who we'll else? First, I got a skinner. Okay, so I was skinning the deer and I actually found the bullet. Here's the bullet. I took it down. Found it like right at the bottom of the rib cage. Here's the heart damage. YouTube ain't gonna like this. Here's the liver damage. So I took out all its major organs. So I got all the stuff off, all the grind, legs, back straps, heart, liver, tenderloins. And the plan now is just to put them in an ice chest and keep them cool till tomorrow. And I can cut the muscle groups out of them. Okay, I just got back from town with some ice. So I'm gonna put ice and stuff in the cooler, clean all this stuff up, take the tractor in. Then I'm gonna go inside and get ready for the evening hunt. I'm probably gonna hunt up top of this mountain. The issue is I left my tripod on the other side of the mountain. So I'm not gonna have a tripod to do my hunting. I'm just gonna, just gonna hunt. I will check in and stuff, of course. But I won't have that kill shot like I did this morning. I'll see y'all when I make it out there. I made it up for the evening hunt. This is my view. Been up here before. I can pretty much shoot anywhere from there all the way over to there. So I got a huge range. It's like 3 o'clock. 4.40 is when the sun goes down. So I got about an hour and 40 minutes or so. However long I'll figure it out. Okay, evening hunt didn't amount to anything. I didn't see any deer at all. There were some people walking up in the woods. And they might have, may have scared the deer away. I'm not sure. But I'm heading out to go to my friend's house. I'm gonna stay over there tonight. Tomorrow's Sunday, so I'm not gonna hunt tomorrow. But I'm gonna process the rest of the deer. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright you guys, it's Sunday. I'm out here in the shop. I'm gonna be cutting up my deer, which is currently this ice chest. I don't, shouldn't be frozen, but I did have it on ice. I hope it's not frozen, because that would kind of suck. But I'm gonna be cleaning the deer, and we're not cleaning it. What am I doing? Butchering it. Cutting it on the cuts, and I'm packaging it up yet. Then it's in the freezer. That's the plan right now. Anyway, it's, it's currently Sunday, so I'm not gonna be hunting. I could, but I don't want to. So, yeah, you get that all cut up. I'll show you. I will show you all the meat. There's all the meat. It's very dry right now. Very nice. There's some blood. Where did that come from? So that's the plan for today. I finished processing all the meat. There it is. All the good cuts. Here's the grind. So, yeah, that's about it. Doesn't really get any more, I don't know, what do you call it, primitive? No, not primitive. It's been a good process. I've, I enjoyed it. Had fun. Still getting in the freezer now. So I'm gonna end this video here. I still gotta, still gonna go hunting tomorrow. And all of next week, so I got seven, six more days to hunt, and five more tags. Hopefully we get her done. Get all the tags filled out. It'll be sick. So, I'll see you in the next one.